Hello, welcome back to the Going Zero Waste YouTube channel. I'm Katherine Kellogg and today you're in for a special Sunday treat because, well, A, it's Sunday and I normally don't post on Sunday, they post on Wednesdays. So you're getting two videos a week and it is done in partnership with two of my really good friends, Shelby from Shell Bizzle and Emmy from Sustainably Vegan. I'm really excited about this partnership that we're doing today. It's just the three of us who decided to shoot a video all about our past wasteful selves. This video is in no way, shape, or form a judgment on anyone. It is more just to prove how far we've come and the fact that we were definitely not the environmental people you look up to today, five to 10 years ago. I know, especially for myself, I, I wrote down five awfully wasteful things and habits that I used to be a part of on a regular basis. And some of them are kind of cringy, but I want to talk about the really fun part of this video, which is Shelby and Emmy both sent me habits they used to do when they weren't nearly as eco-friendly. And I have to guess if it's a Shelby habit or an Emmy habit. And for you to find out if it's a Shelby habit or an Emmy habit, you're gonna have to go watch their videos. But before we get into it, make sure that you give this a thumbs up because it really helps my channel. This is the first one. I used to buy a new makeup eyeshadow palette once a month and hardly ever used every eyeshadow. And they would just sit in my cupboard, barely getting used until they'd arguably until they'd get arguably old and I'd have to throw them away. It really pains me to think about it now. And the other one is I used to have 3D nail art done at the salon. So I'm gonna be perfectly honest with you. I have absolutely no idea what 3D nail art is. I mean, I assume it is art that sticks up on your nail to make it 3D, but how do they do it? Wow. I'm gonna get this wrong. <laughs> I'm gonna say Shelby or Emmy. Shelby, Emmy, Shelby, Emmy, Shelby. Okay, so I know that Shelby used to dumpster dive for a lot of makeup. So that's why I feel like Shelby is going to be the eyeshadow palettes because I feel like she was always dumpster diving and getting a lot of eyeshadow palettes. So I'm gonna say that's Shelby. And then Emmy used to do nail art. I don't know, to be honest, they both sound like Shelby to me. I feel like. <gasps> Nail art, nail art. Okay, I'm just gonna stick with it. Final answer, Shelby makeup palettes, Emmy nail art. Head to their channels, see if I got it right. But as far as my wasteful habits, cause trust me, mine are way worse than that. I did not grow up with recycling. I did not grow up talking about climate change. It just wasn't something that was talked about in my social circles. It wasn't something that I ever had that I wasn't, I, there was something I wasn't educated on at all. And with time, I was able to educate myself, learn more, realize that 97% of scientists agree that climate change is happening and that it is man-made and knowing that there's something that I can do about it. And honestly, I just didn't know. I mean, the biggest roadblock for me was education, which is one of the reasons why I think I harp a lot on education and facts on my feed is because I know that had I just been presented with better information, it would have been a lot easier decision for me to come to sooner. <laughs> I didn't use to recycle. Who has put a number seven plastic in a number four bin? This is a hard video. So I didn't recycle. I remember when my campus and college rolled out a huge recycling program, which I thought was so dumb. And I actually remember telling someone like, this is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Why are we recycling? I was 19 years old and thought recycling was stupid. So she's come a long way. This is probably the most cringe, like the most cringe, 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 cringe. So I distinctly remember two times in high school that I littered. I got a fast food cup and then I left it in the parking lot. Yep. <laughs> I was also unsurprisingly addicted to fast fashion. <laughs> Just like a long list of sins. Like I was on Santa's naughty list, that's for dang sure. So I love to go shopping. I will say I bought a lot secondhand, but I was definitely addicted to shopping. I had over 200 dresses alone, just dresses. That doesn't include anything else. 
I had a lot of clothes. I had a lot. I had a lot, a lot, a lot of clothes. I was just, you know, those friends that are always like, oh, it's only $2. I'll just buy it. That was me. I was that friend. I, so I just bought so many like $2, $5, all these items, like deals. So many of them, so many of them. And then my last cringe cringe, which kind of, I guess, segues out of this, which is I honestly just didn't really care about the environment and throwing away things at all. The biggest hindrance and the biggest roadblock was education, not understanding. And when I started getting into this and started making more natural lifestyle changes in 2010, the education and awareness just wasn't there. And obviously with climate strikes and all of these other things happening, it is becoming something that is much, much more pressing that people are recognizing as a problem. And so I have so much faith for future generations. And of course, if you're here watching this video, you're obviously probably interested in sustainability. So I have a lot of hope and I'm not upset at myself in any way. I obviously couldn't know what I didn't know. Instead, I actually am really grateful for a lot of the things that I cringe about. I find that what I've gone through to be an absolute strength of mine when talking to other people. So if you didn't grow up in the most environmentally sustainably family, then that doesn't mean that you can't be sustainable tomorrow and that you can't make smarter choices that are going to be better for your health and the health of the planet. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Shelby and Emmy and I are going to be hopefully working on some more collabs. If you guys have any ideas, uh, any things that you would like to see us do, please let me know in the comments down below. And I hope that you have a wonderful week.